Welcome to a tutorial video on BitC8. In this video, I'm going to discuss tools in workflow. We know when we work with BitC, we work in rooms. We create games that have rooms, and inside these rooms are avatar, tile, sprites, and items, and we can also use colors to affect those previous things. However, when we arrange the things we use within BitC, we are, by default, given the largest thing and then move into the smallest thing. Let me show you what I mean. So the default layout starts with the largest thing, a room. A room contains the other things. Moving from left to right, we have a room, we have a paint, which has avatar, tile, sprites, and items, and then we have colors, which affect everything else. One of the ways we think of tools and workflows within Bitsy is moving in a kind of left to right and then cycling back pattern. So we edit things over here, placing them within the rooms we need as we edit the rooms, shifting over, working within the paint tool for avatar type tile sprites and items, and then changing the colors. We know though that because all these tools are their own little windows, we can potentially move them around. So if I prefer, I can shift the paint tool over here and colors over here, as well as work with other tools using the tools button up here. Potentially, if I wanted to work with inventory or tune or anything else covered in future videos, we could pop those tools out and rearrange them. So, although we are given by default the idea of largest to smallest, rooms containing avatar tile sprites and items, which are themselves affected by colors, and of course we can download or upload, we can rearrange things to our own art's content. One of the ways I would encourage people who are coming to Bitsy for the first time is to work with the default layout. Again, thinking in terms of how do we divide up a game into rooms, how do we divide up a room into avatar tile sprites and items, and then how do we divide those up into different colors or color palettes. This can be a really useful way to start with the largest thing, I'm creating a game, move to the next smallest, rooms, the next smallest from there, avatar tile sprites and items, and then into colors. Although, of course, as I've, as I've now shown, we can move tools around and shift them as we want. But this helps us at least think of moving from a macro into a micro scale, or of course, running the other way if we prefer. Our colors can be far on the left, our paint in the middle, and room over here, or any order that makes the most sense to us. But creating that easy workflow, helping us understand all part of what we do within Bitsy 8. Thanks for watching.